Hello once again. And uh, greetings from a beautiful sunny day here in Japan. I think we're about 28, 29 degrees today, which is really nice for uh, mid-May. And uh, today we have a really nice example of the Toyota FJ Cruiser. This is a 2018 January uh, FJ Cruiser. It's the off-road package, so it's got the uh, ceiling mounted uh, diff lock controls and uh, hill climb uh, speed controls, etc., which I'll uh, show you later. Um, and just a really nice, fully serviced uh, machine. I'm assuming it's a one owner. Um, and uh, anyway, certainly looks like it. The mileage is 68,000 miles, 110,000 kilometers. And it was a Toyota grade four. And just, yeah, very clean example. And it's got some nice features as well. Um, it's got the uh, optional front fog lights. It's also got a uh, kind of a joust uh, chrome panel on the uh, front there. That's another little option. And so we've got um, these originally uh, came with uh, steel wheels, and you chose whatever wheels you wanted when you bought the car. These are Toyota 17 inch with uh, all terrain tires, very good 2020, 2022 tires, I think. They've also got the Jaws uh, side steps, um, which look pretty nice, and the kind of uh, optional garnish, silver garnish down the side of the doors. We have put a brand new roof rack on it. It was just put on yesterday or the day before. That's brand new. It also has, which I think is rather cool, has the uh, Ganador four pipe exhaust system. I think new, they're about, I couldn't really find a proper price, but about 800 pounds, I believe. Nice spare cover with rear camera. And of course, uh, rear parking sensors, which is very useful for uh, this kind of car. And just to demonstrate the opening this uh, rear window, insert, insert the key, hold to the right for a couple of seconds, and the window pops open. So it's a nice little feature. Okay. I'm going to throw something in there without opening the whole car. Okay. And the uh, boot trunk area also nice and smart. Don't forget, of course, there's uh, the 60-odd photographs probably on Dropbox demonstrating and illustrating, sorry, the, the how nice the car is. Two remote keys and one spare key. You've also got the uh, key number tag. This is the first white one we've had. I can't remember. Anyway, I think it is. So it's 2018 January, 69,000 miles. Again, just side steps. This time of the year, getting uh, getting a location for make photoing and videoing is a little awkward. The sun, positioning of the sun, limits where we can actually take decent, clear photographs and videos. Usually we take it in front of the house, but uh, you have to wait till like 5, 30, 6 o'clock. Okay. It's, it's got the uh, suicide. 
inside doors. Yes. Just very proper. This one also has a dealer option rubber mats for the front footwells, which is a very practical thing. Plus, I have the same thing in my Land Cruiser because you know if you've got a if you are off-roading or if you're taking it into fields camping whatever why would you want plush carpets okay so it's also got uh, this kind of veneer trim which is again as uh i don't know if it's a dealer option or it's just an option available it looks quite nice and maybe the uh two-tone Steering wheel, which that is a dealer option. The um, kind of matches the, uh, the veneer, maybe. I'm not sure if I would have it myself. So here we are. Okay, let's get the lights on. See all the warning lights, and we'll start it up. You can see the mileage there, 110,000 kilometers, 68,000 miles. Okay, the warning lights are all, all off except for the mm, petrol. But we always put more petrol in before these cars get shipped. Cruise control down here, you've got the uh, fog light controls and uh, control in there. You've got heated front windscreen for those icy mornings. And up here you've got the controls for the diff lock and the hill, uh, the hill climbing, etc. And the uh, so on the older versions of the car, the diff lock and everything is down here on this panel here. But on um, the later ones, they put it in the roof, which is kind of useful. Yeah. Right, nice clean interior. You've got all your manuals in here. As I say, it comes with the service history. It has a reverse camera. And rear parking sensors, as mentioned. Anything else? Of course, front side curtain airbags. Yeah, so that is about it. You can see the condition of everything on the steering wheel. It just, the previous owner just took great care of the car. I think that's an option. That's not, yeah, these kind of chrome strips on here are also different. I mean, if you don't like the uh, veneer, you can always take it off. But yeah, it kind of looks good. Um, I think that might be it. Let's take a look at the... Ugh, it's hot in here without the aircon on. Let's just open it up. Okay, uh, it's going to be that time of year where you want the air conditioning. Here we go. Huge air engine bay. The uh, it's a four liter V six engine. Right. And we have the auction sheet. This one came came from a Toyota dealer from a Toyota auction. As you can see, grade 4B, that's the exterior, C is the interior. I'm not sure why, but as I said many, many times, the maker auctions, Toyota, Nissan and Honda, are much more severe in their grading than uh, the other auctions. Um, yeah, very announced uh, uh, you can see that there you go 
I mean, it's nothing. A1s, E1s, there's nothing. The car is really clean. And uh, it's a 30, so 2018, January, 110,000 kilometers, 68,000 miles. And there it says off-road package. So that tells you if it's if it's if that's a model, then it will have the uh, center diff locks, etc. All right, that's the passenger seat. <clears throat> a very nice car. If you're looking for one of these, then. Uh, we normally don't get 2018s or even 17s. Most of the ones we buy um, are 11, 12s, 13s. Um, you know, for the kind of uh, uh, price that we're kind of targeting. Unless we get special orders. This one kind of came a little cheap, so but as I say, it was in a Toyota auction, it wasn't in, in the USS or anywhere. So, and if you don't like this, you could always buy um, a fire engine. And uh, here you have a 1995 uh, fire engine uh, from a little town up north. It's got uh, 4,000 miles on the clock. And uh, yeah, you, it's um, very, um, I'm gonna show this. Oh, thanks. Um, the, um, yeah. So if, if you're not keen on the FJ, go for a fire truck. Strange things people want to buy. Anyway, here we are. So FJ Cruiser 2018, 68,000 miles. If this interests you, then please do uh, talk to Paul at JA, and he can guide you through the process of buying it. And. Uh, um, yeah, you, any, anyway, you'll be really happy with the car. It's really nice. I mean, personally, if I was looking for one, um, yeah, I'd be very happy with this one. So, thanks for watching, and bye for now. We are a UK-based personal car import agent trading since 2004. We have a proven track record supplying thousands of Japanese cars direct from Japan to customers throughout the UK. Working as your appointed agent for a fixed commission, we provide a four-step personal car import service. This is an opportunity to cherry pick and safely buy the best high-grade, low mileage cars direct from Japanese car auctions at export trade prices for personal import to the UK. You will make large savings on UK retail prices while buying the best quality cars available in Japan. It's a genuine win-win opportunity. Before the auction starts, background checks and hands-on inspection are carried out by the Japanese staff. Under Japanese law, any accident history or mileage discrepancy must be declared by the auction and shown on the auction report. The truth is the best cars normally stay in Japan. They are bought by Japanese dealers for resale because the best cars will pass a strict Japanese roadworthy test, known as a shaken. Shaken failures are seen in Japan as fits for recycle or export. Many turn up in the UK without the auction port to maximize the dealer's profit margins. So it's vital to see a genuine translation of the auction report before the sale starts. Once we have found a particular car, we next arrange our hands-on inspection to confirm the condition matches the auction report and take a large number of photos. Keep in mind, we are not car dealers buying and selling for profit. Why supply bad cars? when it's just as easy to supply a great car from the fountain of supply and simply keep adding to our long-established superb track record. Check out our customer reviews or head to our YouTube channel found on our website to see the quality of the cars we supply. To learn more, pick up the phone and speak to us direct without obligation. Ask for Paul. Telephone 01625 560 505 or mobile 07989 
560505. Our email sales at japautoagent.com.